cuando le pegue la olla, uf, lo voy a sentar y lo voy a poner a orinar. Ni tú debajo la falda de mi mamá. Ricardo Matador Mayorga will go down in history as one of the toughest, craziest, and most unforgettable fighters to ever step into the ring. He's read my ass. No, I understand. Then you should have killed him when he did it. Mayorga was a showman who could trash talk like no one else, and it rattled his opponents. Ayer dijiste algo de mi esposa, y ahora mencionaste mi raza, y con eso no se juega, y te voy a noquear. The antics went far beyond the press conferences into some of the most obnoxious ring taunting the sport has ever seen. So much so that it became part of his boxing style. You may have to kill him to beat him. <laughs> Mayorga's life was a wild ride from the streets of Nicaragua to boxing glory. Starting out in the capital city of Managua, things were certainly far from easy for Ricardo. When we see poverty like down in Latin America, it's a completely different world. Growing up poor, he found his escape in the ring, first as an amateur and then in the army, where he could really throw punches. Ricardo Mayorga. He wasn't your typical boxer. Instead of fancy footwork, he had guts and a never-say-die attitude. This made him all the more dangerous as he entered the professional ranks at age 20. After eight years in the professional game from 2000 onwards, his rough-and-ready style finally hit the big stage. <laughs> <laughs> Within a year of his US debut, he had claimed his first world title, knocking out Andrew Lewis. Despite his rough and rugged approach, he showed he could be a real threat to the current crop of welterweights after he beat Vernon Forrest twice. This is not the fight that Vernon Forrest wanted. Stay right there. Don't go nowhere. You're backing up. Okay, do not back up on this man. Within a few years, he was a world champ knocking out opponents left and right. While his antics in the ring made him seem clumsy and reckless, they gave the man opposite a false sense of security before he'd hit them with a killer shot, and he never backed down from a challenge. I mean, this fight is kind of a promoter's dream. This guy just brings everything you want to the table, doesn't he? Yes, he does. And while he lost a handful, most notably at the hands of Oscar De La Hoya, fans loved him for his raw, unfiltered approach to the sport. From smoking cigarettes to downing liquor, he was the epitome of the rebel boxer. Ricardo Mayorga may not have been everyone's cup of tea, but he sure left his mark on boxing during his 25-year campaign.